Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday here, 18 Feb, past the mid-month mark. Um, kind of interesting overnight. Could not really on the currency side. Uh, currencies are dead. I mean, look at Euro. That's unbelievable. <whistles> My God, 15-pointer. A lot of news out. Uh, let's look at the euro first and foremost. We're waiting for this to base. We're waiting for this to turn. We did make a new low here, 23. Uh, this becomes interesting above uh, 50, which will be b bullish engulfing. Uh, we'll see if that happens. This is not exactly massively on our radar, but it's sort of back burner. Uh, looking for this to base. Um, equities got hit after uh, printing back up at that sort of 90, 92, 50 area. Um, this is bearish engulfing below 64, so we're down here at 70. Again, we need confirmation of a change in trend before we can sink our teeth into anything. If you need to be short, uh, you're just tactically short on the day. You're selling high ones. Uh, we're not trying to pick tops. Uh, if you need to be long, you want to buy, uh, right, 40 is going to be support. Because uh, we do have a fair bit of bad news out there. Sentiment is pretty bad today. Uh, it's hard to really put your finger on it. Of course, Apple warned about revenues. Um, you know, where is this virus going? How is it going to affect the global economy? You know, a lot of, a lot of political bullshit out of China. You know, sort of blame game stuff. Um, we're risk off. I'm not really sure what's different today than it was yesterday or two days ago, uh, but we are risk off today. So let's keep that in mind. Where? Where is the best risk off? Um, Sterling Yen, we, it kind of looks like a good horse today. We think this uh, Sterling negotiation is going to go south. We're going to get some more bad news out of that. Obviously, the Yen side uh, has come off a little bit, but not much. 87 the high, 65 the low. We're right in the middle here. But Sterling Yen... Um, we think is a pretty good horse uh, for risk off. We've already made a new daily low today. You can see on the hourly things started to kind of get moving here at 77. Uh, the low today has been 52. It starts to get interesting uh, down below 15 and then it gets incredibly interesting 140, 85, 90. We've been talking about 140, 85, 90 for a long time now. This is one of the best chart patterns we've seen in a long time. Um, so we're keeping an eye on this. Our old friend, South African Rand, got smashed yesterday. Uh, rating agencies downgraded growth. Uh, not great for, uh, for any country, but took this guy from sort of 90 up to 05. Uh, the big highs are up at 15.12 and then again uh, 15.50 will we visit 15.50 for the budget can't rule it out that's for sure got a lot of people who are getting bearish czar on this uh, heading into the budget so be careful with that but more bad news at a czar yesterday so be careful uh, with that uh, just as a rule uh, don't own czar. Euro Swiss, uh, we're trading this on the long side. Taking a bit of heat here um, on a mark to market basis. You know, we bought this down near 10 uh, last Thursday last week. But the key is going to be what's happening at 106.10. See if we're seeing uh, natural buying here, and also the key is is euro dollar turning because euro Swiss cannot turn unless euro dollar turns. 
So we're sticking to our guns with our Euro Swiss uh, core longs. We did a little bit of trading on it yesterday to help the average. We'll do the same today, especially in this sort of risk off um, sentiment world. But we're still running that. Gold uh, inching up, you know, one tenth of a percent. Not really much to talk about. This is the gold futures. People, be careful, this is not cash gold. Um, gets interesting above 1600, I guess. We don't really particularly think gold is the way forward on this. We like Bitcoin, uh, which has come back. We've just given you a, a chance to enter longs. 9,500, uh, you know, we think 8,000 is going to hold. It's tough here, uh, 9,800, because you, what are you going to risk, 20%? That's not really, not really what we're looking for for our setup. Um, but Bitcoin is the risk off safe haven better than gold better than dollar yen um, bitcoin is the way we we like to express uh, safe haven flows what else we got is canada gonna turn maybe new daily high today um, we did get down to 27 not a whole heck of a lot going on, um, so hard to really like dive in here and 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 put on a big foreign exchange bet. Let's take a look at the calendar real quick. Um, sterling, average hourly earnings mildly important um, ZEW mildly important nothing really else going on today um, on the 18th I guess we need to look at Aussie RBA uh, minutes last night this was this was dovish I haven't actually read the minutes yet but you can see what happened here um, Aussie on risk off and dovish minutes down to 66.85 are we going to revisit 66.60 this whole 66.70 60 area been so many lows um, just gonna have to watch this we have what we have no uh, no Aussie positions here but it gets super serious uh, down at 6660 um, something terrible will be hap will have to be happening uh, in the world for that to go if we're going to just drill down on what the main focus today is uh, sterling yen is going to be our horse on the risk off side we're going to be managing our euro swiss longs uh, We'll be selling high ones uh, in stocks at the moment, so we'll be selling. We just put some orders in at 78 and 82 just to trade for tactical trading purposes. Um, watching headlines, not much going on as far as releases are concerned. If you have the sterling yen um, idea in your percolating in your brain, uh, keep an eye on this data out of the UK. And... I think that's about it. We're just waiting patiently for uh, the collar to be taken off the FX dog. Let this guy run. Uh, but right now, as you can see, not a whole lot going on there. Uh, these are percentage changes last night. Aussie's the big, big loser, down 0.3 and up 0.3 against Euro. Uh, and if you think that's a big move. You're probably 24 years old and, and pretty new at this business. Got to be patient um, and see what happens. Sterling Yen's our horse today. Uh, we'll see how we go from here. That's all I got for you. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.